Most of the foundational parts of my van build are complete, including building out and insulating my subfloor, installing my wall studs and roof rafters, and running the electrical wires throughout the van. I also got my windows installed by a shop in Salt Lake City and spent my entire last weekend stuffing my van with Havelock sheep wool. In this episode, I take on some demolition and start the install on my S-Bar diesel heater. I don't know if anyone's ever used a mall before, but I certainly have not. The cabinets that I took out of the van, basically the very first morning I got it, have been sitting on my front yard area for a long time. And my neighbors across the street are getting a little irritated, you could say. So I'm being a good, respectable neighbor. And I'm um, taking them down. And I'm spending my Tuesday evening just hammering these things apart. little amount of sleep. I would say about four, anywhere from four to six hours, um, especially when I need to get these videos out. It was about 12.15 when I went to sleep. My alarm was set for 4.30 to work on this video that you guys just saw on Tuesday. I got woken up. I never jumped out of bed so quickly. It was like one motion. I got up, stood up, and was like in my living room because my fire alarm just like started going nuts. And then like this little AI voice came on and saying, fire, fire. And I was like, I didn't know if I was dreaming. Like, I don't know what was going on. And so the, this was like at 1.30 in the morning, 15 minutes later, it goes off again. And I'm like, oh my God, at this point it's like two in the morning. And I'm like, well, maybe there's carbon monoxide or something. I didn't know what was going on. So long story short, I ended up calling the fire department at, at this point it's two, 2.15 2 in the morning. It took them about 10 minutes to get here. They come in here, do like a whole search of my house just to make sure there's no carbon monoxide, which there wasn't they kind of took like fixed some of those smoke alarms and so I didn't really get to bed till about 2 30 3 and then I woke up at 4 30 I think 4 45 when I actually got out of bed to finish the vlog so I'm not going to do anything else on the van tonight because I just think it's gonna be counterproductive and I just need to get some sleep so that's it for the night just had to clean up all this stuff I'll see you guys tomorrow I'm not even sure what I'm gonna be doing yet but we're gonna be doing something Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday evening. Today, I'm gonna start one of those things that I have been fearing since I wanted to build a van, and that is my diesel heater. This is essentially like the bulk of how it works. You have your heater here, this is your exhaust, and this is your intake, this is your fuel pump here, and then this is the actual blower vent here, and then a really crazy wiring harness. This is actually the S-Bar S2 heater, and basically this heater is just a little bit more refined than the very popular D2, which I've heard great things about, um, so I'm super stoked that this is supposedly even better. It's supposed to be more efficient um, and a little bit quieter when it blows the actual heat. My goal today is to basically do this part of it, basically mount the heater in there and then run my exhaust and my intake hoses underneath the van. So obviously the first step is having to remove this seat here from the base, which is giving me nightmares, not gonna lie, based on the whole swivel seat insulation experience that I had. The challenge in lining this thing up is that you can't really see underneath the van in terms of what you're gonna be drilling your holes into. So I saw this video online. I think his name was uh, Sven, Sveno Savage or something. Um, he was very, very nifty with how he did this. So this is totally how he did this. I don't wanna take credit for this idea at all. Basically what he said was to use this bolt right here as a marker because this bolt runs all the way down to the bottom of the van. So there's the bolt right there. And I basically had to measure where that bolt begins to basically like this support piece. So I'm basically trying to see where I can drill through the van to mount this. So right where this sort of cutout shape is that you guys see, it looks like that is all of a, a like fair game area to mount um, the heater. The heater comes with this gasket that goes on the bottom of the heater. And so I'm basically gonna use this as like my template as to where I need to drill my seven holes um, for this. I think I have a special case because I have a bunch of wires underneath or like pipes in this area where most people that I'm watching who do this don't. So I'm having to really position this around those so I can hook up underneath. 
but you can see I basically have traced my gaskets, um, did a few just kind of test holes so I could see exactly where it's going to come out underneath, and I think I might be ready to drill all these out and then see if I can get this um, and like hope for a good fit, I guess. Guys, it is 10.30 at night. I'm not even sure where I left you. I started FaceTiming with my dad because I just needed some help on what I was doing and just bounce some ideas off of. And then once I started cutting with the whole saws and everything else, like, long story short, I got the heater to fit and I'll show you guys tomorrow when there's light. Um, but it was it was tricky. I'm But... I got it. I was expecting to do a lot more tonight, but just figuring out how to mount it and mount it right took a lot longer than I thought, to be honest, but everything, this is exploded. So I'm just gonna close these doors and go inside and go to bed for the night. the status of the van this morning. Um, stuff is just everywhere at this point. So I decided to mount mine this way, and there's plenty of different ways you could mount this, but largely because of this slant here, I had a lot of issues running it just completely uh, perpendicular. I still need to be able to get the actual blower hose like on this end. So I needed to leave myself enough room where it wasn't like super kinked and then I can run it out this way. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of rust-oleum, which is basically um, just a sealer to make sure these don't rust out and stuff like that. Um, it is like a paint sort of thing. Um, so I'm just gonna hit these out with rust-oleum and then leave all this, go to work, and then when I come back tonight, I should be able to kind of screw all this down, secure it, and then run my exhaust and intake hoses. I didn't have a brush, so I just dabbed it off in the rag, but. It will definitely suffice. I'm going to let that dry and go to work. Alright guys, so I have my heater all mounted underneath the seat there. It's screwed in, siliconed, rust-oleum, the whole thing. So stoked on that. The next step is now going to be mounting my exhaust. This is my exhaust. This is the muffler. Um, which is gonna go in between it like that. The kit comes with three hose clamps here. So my plan is to now run this um, from the heater itself and find out a spot where um, to mount this underneath. This thing can then exhaust outside of the van. Oh guys, rather a frustrating uh, two nights, kind of frustrating week. In general, I had to kind of pull the plugs on this heater project for tonight at least. I just was struggling a lot trying to get the muffler to work correctly um, and just some other stuff. It just was not, I was not having a good night. I was not having fun. I was not enjoying the process even when things weren't going well. And to me, it's just not really worth it. Um, you know, it's why I'm doing this is to have fun and to learn and just had a long, long week with work, been getting hammered with work, which is good, but it's also just adding to a lot of this stress then have to come home and uh, try to knock out um, something as complex as this heater. So for now, I just kind of put that project away. I kind of fixed up my roof tracks up there, drilled a few holes to really secure it, added another bolt or two. I have a lot more things coming in. I'm gonna work on my overhead shelf this weekend. Um, do all the insulation up there as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching another one of my episodes here another sort of midweek update I'm actually gonna be having my dad come out here in a few weeks to help me um, with some of the more bigger stuff I'm, So I'm trying to take care of all the little odds and ends I can do um, Now and then when he comes out here We can really bang this out and and kind of have it all done. So exciting exciting times Thank you guys so very much for watching um, I will see all of you guys on Tuesday in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. Whoop.